Listen up. Let's talk about hearing, listening and why they are not the same. For the purposes of this session, we will treat hearing as a physical process, and listening as a psychological process. This is a huge simplification. If you want to know more, well, maybe just Google it. For a person with normal hearing, the process of hearing is entirely unconscious. We literally hear everything, limited only by frequency and volume. This is a tsunami of sound, so humans, and pretty much every other animal with ears, ignore most of the sounds we hear. Yes indeed, you are consciously aware of only a fraction of what you actually hear, and that is a good thing, otherwise, your brain would be like your laptop when you have too many windows open. This filtering is useful in other ways too, imagine you are at a noisy party. Despite the noise, you can still hear someone calling your name across the room. That is because your unconscious mind ignores much of the background noise, allowing the conscious mind to focus on something interesting or important. Like your name. This filter can have its downsides. Imagine you are at home watching your favorite superhero show on TV, while your partner tells you about their day. All is calm and relaxed. Until suddenly they say, did you hear what I said? To which the honest answer is, yes, I did hear you. However my unconscious mind filtered out what you were saying, I mean every day at your office is pretty much the same. Yep. That should all go really well. Well, that's all very interesting, but what has it got to do with how I do my job? I know I am supposed to listen to people, that is literally 50% of my job. That is all true. Just as most people don't choose to not listen to their partner, agents still sometimes tune out of calls. There are lots of reasons why this happens, it can be the third call in a row about the same thing. You might be focused on setting the case up in the CRM system. Or you might be distracted by the argument with your partner after you told them how dull their work life is. Any of these thoughts can happen, to anyone. The important thing is to have a level of self-awareness. You have a choice to recognize distractions, yet not allow them to control you and pull your attention away from the person you are in dialogue with. In summary, please, my friends, choose to listen.